Geometry, trigonometry review, problems four, five, and six. A 25-foot wire is attached to the top of a 15-foot pole. Okay, we have a 15-foot pole. And we have a 25-foot wire. And I'm just going to pretend that my 15-foot pole is at right angles to the ground, because otherwise I don't really know how to solve the problem. My wire is 25 feet. Ah, I hypothesize that this is going to be 20 feet. They want us to find this. I'm just going to tell you I think it's going to be 20 feet. Let's see whether I'm right. 15 squared plus B squared equals 25 squared. 15 squared is 225. 25 squared is 625. So now I subtract 225 from each side. B squared equals 400. B is equal to the positive square root of 400. Turns out 400 is the same as 20 times 20. So B is equal to 20 feet. How did I know that? Because I notice that this is 5 times 5. And then I went, wait, this is 5 times 5. And this is 3 times 5. One of the special right triangles is the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So I bet this is going to be 4 times 5. And sure enough, I was right. Given a rectangle with length 36 and width 15, find the diagonal. Okay, I'm a little bit tired of the Pythagorean theorem as much as, as useful as it is and as much as I like it. We have a rectangle with length 36 and width 15. 36 squared plus 15 squared equals the diagonal, call it D. Thirty-six squared might be exactly one thousand two hundred ninety-six plus two twenty-five, and that is going to be equal to the diagonal squared. Add two twenty-five. Fifteen twenty-one, and I imagine this is not a perfect square. But who knows? It is a perfect square. D is equal to 39. 39 units, because they didn't give us a unit. Then we have, number six, a square has a diagonal of length 12. What's the perimeter of the square? Well, first we know that it's a square. This side is equal to this side is equal to this side is equal to this side, and we know that we have four right angles. If this side is equal to this side and I have a right triangle, then I know this is a 45 degree angle, this is a 45 degree angle, who cares? What I know is that Whatever this is, whatever the length of this side, the side multiplied times the square root of 2 is going to be the diagonal. But wait! We have a diagonal of length 12. The side times the square root of 2 is equal to 12. I can divide both sides by the square root of 2.
Am I done? No. I needed the perimeter. 4 times the side length is equal to the perimeter. 4 times 6 times the square root of 2 is equal to the perimeter. 24 times the square root of 2 is equal to P. Now, if you do not know how I got from here to here, text me, send me an email, talk to an interesting classmate who might know the answer, find it elsewhere on YouTube, or think, because you've seen lots of these by now. But that is my final answer. Well done.